Greetings and salutations. This is Scott Nixon coming to you uh, from the Czech Republic. Uh, today is Sunday, the 9th of October, which apparently uh, I'm going to read a new poem to you that's just written, of course, written against a particular individual who basically, well, may, may or may not have this world by the shortened curlies with his uh, threats of using nuclear weapons. I'm not sure what may particularly happen, but in case you can't tell, this is a poem about uh, Vladimir Putin, which his birthday was a couple of days ago. And I didn't necessarily want to uh, read, read this on his birthday because I'm not giving that asshole a little bit of accreditation. Or better yet, there's a particular word I've learned every time men people mention his name when I was at the uh, protest uh, during the beginnings of the uh, Ukraine invasion. Anyway, this doesn't have a title, so I'm going to read it to you straightforward. I got nothing but lulling and disobedience for you. I am tired of bowing my head every time my friends mention you since you thrive on their admiration, if not the fear from everyone else. So I say, because I refuse to bow my head when your name is mentioned, Putin Kurva. Unlike you, I don't need anyone to bow before me, so I blink at the people who agree with me as a way of saying thank you, while those who have to show that they disagree, I retort in my head, Proshteye mi doyeno, because again, I expect them to make up their own goddamn minds. And I don't care if you have your snipers set their scopes upon my head or have pl polonium. 210 slipped into my whiskey because I got the cross shining between my deer antlers and I got bit by the snake that makes me immune to poison. I know that to be a good leader is to rule with fear, but there is no excuse why you've killed Alexander, Alexander Livent, Lit, Litvienko uh, and any other journalist who dare criticize you. You have to have some respect. You'd have some respect for me if you had let them live to prove their elucidations were wrong. But you didn't. And that is why I call you a coward, or better still, Kurva. I used to think that you were smart until you invaded your neighbor, whereas you refused to heed my advice when I had warned you that this was a war you didn't want to win. Maybe you will heed me more when I read to my audience wherever I am at in the whole wide world. When I say Putin, they say Kurva, Putin, Putin. Because to me, you're just any other whore who, that wants everyone, including the king of the Oompa Loompas, Donald Trump, to go down on you like the patriarch of the Russian Orthodox Church instead of bowing down to God in the first place when his priests are blessing the bombs that are being dropped. I, too, am Orthodox, and I say, Nyet, even if you have me by the shortened curlies, I'd rather be a eunuch or a monk than to get married in your church, because I won't forget all who died in this stupid conflict to feed your ego on both sides, the ones defending the homeland and the ones who were sent there for no reason. This world will live long after you and I are long dead, and history will decide my part in these orange times, and whether you are a dirty corva. Anyway, so I'm posting this and seeing what's going to happen next. But thank you for your time and listening. Uh, I'm sure we'll get through these times uh, fairly, fairly, well, if not smoothly. Reassuringly, everything will be settled in the, in the next future months ahead. So thank you for your time. God bless. Take care.